So the mental attitude in collaboration should fundamentally be one of yes and. And that expression yes and is something that has been borrowed from the world of improvised theatre and improvised drama, right? That's a world where actors who are training to spontaneously create collaborative theatre mm are trained with this mentality of yes and whatever your co-creator brings up, you never shut it down. Mm. You never say no <laughs> or it's not a no but this or like, you know, mm. you always take what they're offering you and mm. build upon it and that's the path forward. It's yes and. And look, even if someone makes a suggestion that you're not that excited about, Co-writing is all about yes and. It's all about, okay, that and this. And once you start building and contributing, you can also start to say like, oh, that's a great idea. What if it was like this too, mm. you know? So it's that attitude of yes and as you move mm. forward. Mm. And the mindset here is give every idea a chance to breathe. Don't shut things down too quickly. Don't cut your co-writer off. Let their idea come out and listen to it and give it consideration because this is really the primary difference between writing by yourself and writing with someone else. When you're writing by yourself, you are filtering your own ideas, you know, to try and find the way that you want to move forward. When you're writing with someone else, you need to give them the time and the respect to hear their ideas and they will hopefully do the same for you. And doing so will allow you to explore options and move forward. If you say no but, it's a surefire way to shut down the momentum and also to make the co-writer feel like their ideas aren't valid in the process. I think it's important to acknowledge that this will also change over time. So Benny and I, because we've known each other for 20 years and have been collaborating almost for that long, have established trust and rapport, right? And so there are moments where we might actually go, no, I don't like that idea or, you know, not even that. I don't think I would say that, but I might go, mm, you know, which is as good as, you know, but immediately after that is an idea. And really, you know, even in that trust and rapport, if I'm going, you know, you know that I'm not dismissing you. And, and part of that rapport is built on mm. an appreciation and a respect and a trust in each mm. other's mm. musicianship mm. and creativity. And so mm. that mm, all will always come immediately mm. with another idea. So, you know, trust and rapport over time can yeah. change how you approach expressing yourself to your co-writer. But even underneath mm. those little moments, it's always constructive and it's always moving forward. And it's respectful. Mm -hmm. And it does come back to this idea that we're not competing. Mm. We're not trying to compete with each other to come up with the best idea or the smartest idea. We're collaborating. And if one of us shuts the other one down a little too quickly, it's because we're short on time and we understand that our intent is to work together in the best possible way we can. But I'll also say, you know, underneath that intent, that mm, is never a, no, that's not a good idea. Mm. It's actually always coming from a place of, what I feel like the song wants to do in this moment or, mm. Mm. you know, it's okay, that, that idea is not matching how the tension is building here or this feels like it needs to achieve some kind of resolution here or something, right? Mm. It's not a bad idea. It's not that my idea is better. It's what the song is creating and you know the song itself becomes almost like a songwriter in the creative process and becoming attuned to how the song is evolving and where the song wants to go mm. so that little moment of like oh not that but maybe this it's mm. never about your idea it's actually about the song and it's never about my idea is better yeah. it's all about what does the song need in mm. this moment and that rapport kind of builds over time Ed Catmull, the co-founder of Pixar, has a great line about this where he talks about whenever you say no to an idea, you're basically saying that you don't love the idea, but that doesn't mean you don't love the person. You know, they've created a culture at Pixar whereby saying no to the idea is not personal. They still love the way that person works. They still love the creative input of that person. And they found a way to agree that they're two separate things. So developing that rapport and that relationship with someone takes time, but it, it can be a very powerful and important part of co-writing.